Okay, so I just finished work for the day. Today, I basically just worked on writing some more unit tests for a feature that we're building. And I was also in a few more meetings that went longer than usual, but now it's time for myself. So I'll show you guys my five to nine after my nine to five. So let's get right into it. The first thing I do after work is jump straight into dinner. For a while, I used to wait until it hit six to get dinner ready, just because it felt like the normal dinner time. But during that hour from when I get off work at five to the usual dinner time at six, I would just be scrolling on my phone or laying on the couch watching YouTube videos. And this gap in time made it even harder to feel motivated to work on projects in the evening because I'd already set the tone. So to fix that, I figured why not just eat it right away? Get off work, get dinner out of the way, and have a bigger window of time in the evening to be productive. And ever since doing this, my evenings have felt way more focused and I've got so much more done. To help digest dinner, I like going on a short 10 to 20 minute walk outside. It's a time to get my steps in, de-stress a bit, and promote a more active lifestyle since I'm sitting on my desk working for a good chunk of the day. I've been thinking about getting a desk treadmill so that I can walk and get more steps in while working, but I haven't pulled the trigger yet. But for now, walking outside with AirPods in, listening to music or podcasts helps me de-stress and calm my mind after a full day of work. So yeah, I definitely recommend just going outside to go on a walk for like 10 to 15 minutes because that could drastically change your mood. For me, it drastically changed the way, you know, I work from home now because I try to prioritize, you know, just going on walks because of how much it's done for me. So after doing my evening walk, it's a time for me to go back inside and get some of my own personal work done. Okay, so this is the time where I can be productive. And so let me show you guys what I'm working on. So basically I'm creating this Chrome extension application that I'm hoping to put behind a paywall and get some money out of it because I've devoted some effort and you know tons of hours on it already. I'm learning a new framework as well as learning how to just connect things together in terms of like services I'm using. And so it may sound a little bit simple, but just bear with me as I show you guys where I'm at. Okay, so it's pretty bare bones right now, but this is the Pomodoro application that I'm trying to build. Basically, you add study intervals. So you have 25 minute focus time and a five minute break, and then you can add some more intervals here. Um, an issue that I wanna fix is that whenever I go to you know the login view, which hasn't been created yet, but so when I go to login view um, and then go back to the main view, all the interviews I had disappeared and kind of have to start from scratch. And so what I want to implement is basically a state management so that when I go to the login view and then go back to the main view, I can have my intervals that I've set already. So yeah, that's something that I'm trying to figure out here. So in terms of the stack that I'm using, I'm using Vue.js, which is a JavaScript framework that's pretty popular, I would say. And for the UI, I'm using PrimeView, which is a UI component library. So I don't have to create like all the components by hand. I can just pick them out from the library and use whatever I would want to use. And then uh, for the styling, I decided to go with Tailwind CSS. It's a pretty popular choice and it's pretty versatile and you can actually do really cool stuff with Tailwind CSS. And I also want to point out, this is all very new to me. I'm still learning as I go. But so far, it's been pretty easy to, you know, implement. And it's uh, pretty amazing how much stuff you can do with these technologies. So yeah, I want to try to figure out how to implement the state management. So it remembers all the intervals that the user adds. And so hopefully I can show you guys what I come up with. Okay, so after doing some research, I was able to figure it out. And so as you can see, if I add some intervals here, say I add three and then go to the login view and then go back to the main view where I was just at, the intervals are there and they persist. And so I was able to do this using state management from Pinia or Pinia, where you define a store and inside the store is basically all the data where you want to persist throughout your application. So as you can see here, I created this intervals, which is inside the store, which holds all the intervals that you just saw. You can also manipulate the store by, you know, creating functions here. And so, yeah, this is just a very basic uh, state management that you can do. And I got it to work pretty easily. So just put it into practice, I call use Pomodoro store, which is the store that I showed you guys. 
And I can use the store and other functions so that it can reference the central persistent data. So yeah, I learned a little bit about, you know, stores and how to do state management in Vue.js. So I actually got a lot done today, more than I usually do. I do hope to, you know, monetize this in a way so that it's useful for others. Um, and maybe it's a way for me to continue creating applications like this and having some passive income in addition to, you know, working a normal nine to five job. But we'll see how it goes and I'll show you guys the journey along the way. If I'm not coding, I'm usually just editing a video. And so let me share with you guys um, the editing software that I use and just a few things I've learned. So I use DaVinci Resolve to edit my videos and uh, it's been pretty easy to use. There was a learning curve, but just watching some YouTube videos online helped me learn, you know, 90% of what it takes to really edit a video well. But one thing that I really took from one of the other videos I learned was saving like power grades so that styles can be applied on your videos so I have a power grade here and if I just drag it to this node section all of the LUTs and all of the nodes that I've already saved previously is applied so it's essentially a preset that um, you can create as a power grade and then just drag it to your clips and so it automatically you know color grades your videos you know when I first started editing my videos I wanted to copy other people's looks but after hearing and seeing from other people's experience they really just said you know to make it look how you want to look and so that's something that I really took away from just what I've seen online because it's essentially your video and you should make it how you want it to look compared to how other people say it should look like. So in terms of color grading, I don't stress about it anymore knowing that. And essentially you just basically wanna put your own creative twist on things and everything isn't so formulaic to the point where you have to copy other people's work. Just do your own thing and see what works best for you. When it's around 8.30, that's when I get offline and really wind down for the day. The more I think about it, the more I realize the importance of winding down at the end of the day. For me, a hard transition from working on my desk, editing a video or something, straight into getting ready for bed doesn't sound quite right. Spending the time winding down, stretching, reading, or whatever helps to decompress helps me set the tone to call it a day. 